If you're looking for financial freedom through your nine to five job, probably not going to happen. You're going to have to think outside the box to generate additional streams of income. For those that own their own home, look to possibly renting out spare bedrooms as additional income and using that income to acquire another property and use that property and put it on Airbnb or the like and generate more income. Also, too, another simpler way than that is I know an acquaintance that had a state-sponsored vacation, if you know what I mean, and when he was finished that vacation, he was able to acquire a dump truck, and within two years of just picking up trash, going around in the neighborhood and picking up trash for people, was able to generate six figures of income. So again, you have to think outside the box. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. Hoodie Hustling. YouTube, what up though? Hoodie Hustling, back at it again with another quick tip. Like and subscribe to the channel. We're going over the secrets of reducing our bills. Now, it doesn't take real drastic changes, just small little ones over time, and we can see a big change in the amount of money we're paying for bills each month. One way is we can review our cell phone and internet and TV. Can we bundle these expenses? Can we find a less expensive package with fewer bells and whistles and reduce the monthly payments that we make on those? Also too, during the winter time, can we reduce the temperature by a few degrees? And during the summertime, can we up the temperature a few degrees to save on utility bills? Open blinds to capture sunlight during the cold months and keep your blinds and windows closed during the warm months to reduce energy costs to keep it cool. Small little tips we can work on to improve our spending habit and reduce bills. Hoodie Hustling, I'm out. YouTube, what up though? Hoodie Hustling, back at it again. FTX y'all, it is getting worse. It is really a disgusting scandal. Why? Well, because these blockchain technologies, they were supposed to make finance an automated frictionless environment where humans and their corruptible institutions would be replaced by the logic of code. It would give the little guy a chance because everyone would have to play by the same encoded rules. But with this scandal with FTX and the founder, Sam Bankman Freed, what he's been charged with is international fraud to the order of billions, that's billions with a B, dollars, and he has sank millions into political campaigns. So we can see greed, scamming, really has been supercharged because of these technologies. Again, a cautionary tale for us to think before we invest and to not put all our eggs in one basket. Hoodie Hustling, I'm out. Three more finance books that everyone needs to read. Broke Millennial Takes on Investing, Napkin Finance, and Investing for Dummies. Like and subscribe to the channel if you want to make more money in 2023. Hoodie Hustling. YouTube, what up though? Hoodie Hustling, back at it again. Today, we're going to be discussing blue chip stocks, what they mean. What I pulled up is some information from The Motley Fool and what kind of the characteristics are and some examples so we can get familiar with those terms and how to identify them. A blue chip stock is a well-known high quality company that are leaders in the industry. They have stood the test of time and are respected by customers and shareholders. Some examples are Johnson & Johnson, Walmart, Apple, Disney, Starbucks. What do all these companies have in common? Again, they're industry leaders, they have a dependable business model, a proven track record of success, a history of delivering strong returns over a long period of time, and they are regularly increasing and are well known. So when you hear the term blue chip stocks, think of these type of things. And we're going to delve into individual ones moving forward. Hoodie Hustling, I'm out. YouTube, what up though? Hoodie Hustling, back at it again. Today we're looking at Johnson & Johnson. Ticker symbol is J&J. &J. And again, we're going to the Motley Fool website for a brief synopsis on the stock. 
It's a well-known popular consumer products, including baby shampoo, Band-Aid, Tylenol. It is a healthcare giant. It has a wide array, wide array of medical devices to help doctors and other medical professionals. It also has a vast pharmaceutical business, produces drugs. Also, uh, it's splitting into two companies by November, 2023. We wanna keep tabs on this. One, com one company will focus on health products and the other will contain its highly regarded pharmaceuticals and medical devices segment. Again, a stable company, a global company, a well-known company. Let's dig in a little deeper, look into this stock one worth digging into. Cody Hustlin, I'm out. Read. YouTube, what up though? Cody Hustlin, back at it. YouTube, what up though? Cody Hustlin, back at it. YouTube, what up though? For today is the term market correction or correction in the market, either or. And what that term means is when the market declines by more than 10%, but less than 20%. A bear market is more than 20%. So a market correction is in that 10 to 19% range. Now, is that a good thing? Well, again, we have to recalibrate our minds when it comes to investing and finances. I always use this analogy. When do we buy goods? When they're at full price or when they're on sale? Well, obviously we try to find a deal, try to find something on sale. So a market correction means that the stock's would be at a 10 to 19% discount, a sale. So that would be a good time to buy if we're buying quality companies. So market correction, 10 to 19% decline. Hoodie Hustlin, I'm out. 30 day savings challenge. All of us can participate in. Days one through five, we want to save a dollar each day. Days six through 10, you save $2 a day. After 10 days, you'll have $15. Days 11 through 15, you save $3 a day for a grand total of $30. Days 16 through 20, you save $4 a day, and now we have $50 in total saved. And days 21 through 30, you save $5 a day, which will bring us to a grand total of $100 saved in 30 days. If you can do this multiple times, a month per year, you can use this money to pay down debt, create a savings account as a nest egg in case something happens, or use it to invest. Real simple, y'all. Like and subscribe to the channel if you want to make more money in 2023. Hoodie Hustlin'. YouTube, what up though? Hoodie Hustlin', back at it again. Berkshire Hathaway. We're going to look at The Motley Fool and Google Finance for information on the company. The ticker symbol is BRK.A and BRK.B. There are A and B class shares. They are a major player in the insurance industry. They offer personal and commercial insurance. They also own a diverse set of businesses such as Dairy Queen, a railroad company BNSF, and their own utility company. A broad range of businesses, so it gives you a lot of diversification if you were to invest in this blue chip stock. The CEO is Warren Buffett. We all are familiar with who he is, but uh, he has an impressive track record when it comes to returns and investing. So he is the CEO of this portfolio, this, this uh, blue chip stock. We definitely wanna do our own research and look into this one, but it is a, a very successful blue chip stock that we might choose to invest in. Woody Huston, I'm out. A lot of us didn't have family that taught us proper money management. And there are many schools that don't teach that as well. All they tell us is go to school, go to college, waste more money by getting education, but not how to manage our money. So how do we become more financially educated and responsible? Well, we have to be serious about our education. That's why I make these videos every day, just a minute or two of our time each and every day. And you'll see how the knowledge that you acquire compounds and you become more savvy and you do better research and you make better financial decisions. But the first place to start, you cannot become financially independent if you don't have a budget. So start there, figure out what you make, what you spend, and do it each and every day. Some of the biggest 
financial crimes committed in history. Charles Ponzi and the money that he stole from many people back in the 1920s. Another company, ZZZZ Best, and this was in the 1980s and the hundreds of millions that this company stole from innocent people. And also Ivan Bosky and the insider trading that he committed in the 1980s. And again, the hundreds of millions that he stole from hardworking people. And what do all these people have in common? Well, they all had suits on and showed their faces. Again, emphasizing the need for us to do our own due diligence when it comes to our financial decisions. Don't ever listen to just one source and don't trust people just by what they look like. That's why I come on here with a mask and a hoodie to let you know to do your own research each and every time you decide to put your money in some type of vehicle. Like and subscribe for more info like this. If you have your budget in place, you know what you make, you know what you spend each week. You have an emergency fund set up and saved for a rainy day. Well, next, maybe it's time to take a look at investing. And you don't want to jump into something head first. You want to do some research. And the best way to do that, to get used to market trends and the fluctuation in the economy, is to set up a paper account. That way, you get used to the highs and lows of the market each day. And you get accustomed to the trading swings. And you're not risking your own money because investing is an emotional roller coaster. Buckle up. Like and subscribe to the channel if you want to make more money in 2023. Hoodie hustling. Long term versus short term investing. This time we're going to talk about the tax rate. Now for short term capital gains, these profits are usually taxed as your ordinary income. So the tax rate is based on your income and filing status. As for 2022, the ordinary tax rate ranges from 10% to 37 percent so quite a difference and this is according to TurboTax. now if we look at long-term capital gains that's assets we hold for longer than a year according to TurboTax, depending on your tax bracket you could pay nothing for capital gains and higher income taxpayers could pay as much as 17 percent so keep that in mind like and subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more information like this what up though? Hoodie hustling back at it. YouTube, what up though? Hoodie hustling back. YouTube, what up though? Hood Apple. Ticker symbol is AAPL. Now this is one of the largest companies in the world and has pioneered advancements in the technology sector and has grew into the empire that we know it to be today. Everyone that we know of, at least one person, has some type of Apple device. In 2018, it climbed above the $1 trillion market capitalization mark. And in 2020, it reached $2 trillion. And briefly, in 2022, it climbed above the $3 trillion mark and then declined due to recent economic challenges. But as we can see, Apple over time has had consistent growth and improvement within their company, which has shown considerable gains in their stock. At one point in time, just 10 years ago, they were under $40 a share, and currently they sit at $155. An example of a blue chick stop, Apple. Take a look, do your research. Hoodie hustling, I'm out. Three ways to learn personal finance, no excuses. You can find free books or articles online. If you're not a big reader like me, find an audio version of the book and listen to it when you're driving or other times of the day. Also, you can find a free online course to take, some type of schooling that you can enroll in. And three, you could go on YouTube and maybe listen to some random guy in a ski mask in a hood. You might learn something. Like and subscribe to the channel if you want to make more money in 2023. Hoodie hustling. Three quick ways on how to make more money in the stock market. One, diversify your portfolio. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Invest into multiple sectors and industries. Because when you diversify, it helps to mitigate your risk and increase your chances for long-term success. Two, set investment goals 
and a risk tolerance when you determine what your investment objectives are and how much risk you're willing to take this will help guide your buy and sell decisions to make sure that your investment goals align with your financial decisions and three seek the advice of professionals look online amazon youtube google find reputable sources of information and use them as you continue to educate yourself financially like and subscribe to the channel if you want to make more money in 2023. Hoodie Hustling. YouTube, what up though? Hoodie Hustling. YouTube, what up though? YouTube, what up though? Today is the last day, y'all. We all start fresh 2023 tomorrow. Everybody starts at zero. Let's learn from our mistakes, financial and otherwise, and start to make improvements. The only way we can be financially stable save properly, invest properly, and make sound financial decisions is to track our expenses. Starting tomorrow, or for some of us starting tonight, write down what you spend each and every day, whether in the notes section of your phone, on a piece of paper, text yourself what you spend when you spend it. Whatever the case, be consistent each and every day. Be responsible and hold ourselves accountable so that we can be the change in 2023 on our way to financial education and freedom. Hoodie Hustling, I'm out. Wanted to start off this video by first of all thanking the Hoodie Hustling family. I appreciate y'all. My channel's growing, getting more subscribers. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to Hoodie Hustling and like the videos. It helps our channel grow as we continue to spread financial education. But what I wanted to talk about today was making sure we have three to five different resources of information when educating or looking to invest. And it's often good to look for def different type of demographics as well. Look for a female or two when it comes to financial advice. Look for an older, maybe 60 plus, middle age, and then a younger. It's always good to get different perspectives. Never rely on one source of information. Me and myself, I have about five different sources that I pull from when creating videos or just doing general research. Continue to grow, y'all. Financial literacy is so important, y'all. It's the knowledge and skills that we can acquire to make informed and effective decisions regarding the use and management of money. Now, this includes the understanding of basic concepts such as saving, investing, credit management, we also have to understand bank accounts, how to leverage which banks fit our financial situation, the different accounts within these banks, credit cards, loans, insurance. And the point of all this education and growth is to help ourselves, families, and friends make the most of our resources now, build on our financial foundation, and also help us achieve our financial goals. Like and subscribe to the channel if you want to grow together financially and reach your goals. Hoodie Hustling. Financial Literacy one-on-one. -on -one. The first and most important thing about financial literacy is a budget. You cannot be financially literate without a budget. It's like trying to be healthy without exercising and eating properly. It's impossible. So figure out how much you make and figure out how much you spend and write it down and track it each and every day. Also too, another simple way is to look at your bills and look at ways to bundle them. I was able to bundle my homeowner's insurance along with my car insurance and save about $1,200 a year. And I'm also enrolled in the safe driving program, like I'm going to save an additional 20% based on the data that they're pulling. So a few simple ways we can save significant amount of money. We just have to do put in a little effort. Hoodie Hustling. Seven reasons all kids should learn about personal finance. Number one. To develop good money habits, learning about personal finance at a young age can help them to develop good money habits such as budgeting, saving, and responsible spending, which will set them up for success later. Two, understand the value of money. That way, it will help them be more thoughtful and responsible on how to spend and save and invest their money. They can make informed decisions. Understanding personal finance will help them to choose a bank account or investing and savings plan later in life. Four, to prepare for financial independence. The sooner they learn, the smarter and more mature they will become. Five, 
to avoid financial, financial pitfalls, such as overspending and making poor decisions. Six, set and achieve financial goals, such as saving for a car or college. And seven, improve financial literacy. Consistency. Are we, each and every day, tracking what we spend, no matter how small the amount, are we writing it down? Are we going over and writing down what we make each and every month? And at the end of the month, are we taking time to total up all of our expenses, all of what we make, and figuring out how we can cut back on expenses? Are we, do we have a plan in place to pay down our credit card debt consistently until it is at zero? Are we slowly creating a savings account, six to nine months worth of expenses, and are we saving for that? Financial education is like diet and exercise. You can't take a day off. Each and every day we have to look for ways to improve on our spending habits, on our saving habits, and how we look at debt. Buddy Hustlin, I'm out. Another financial principle that we should keep in mind is to never accept our salary in cash. Why? Because we want to have a proof of income and a steady stream of income documented. When we do that, that helps us to build our credit and improve our credit worthiness. How does that help us? Well, in the long run, if you're looking to rent or purchase a home, you have to have credit history. And the better that history is, well, the lower interest rates you'll be charged when you look to borrow money. So the less you'll have to pay to borrow money. Everything's a foundation and stepping stone when it comes to our financial decision making and education. Like and subscribe to the channel for more information like this. Hoodie Hustle. What is a major source of stress for adults? It's money. When to pay bills, how to pay bills, how to have good credit, how to get out of debt, how to save, how to invest. And why do adults oftentimes have trouble and so much stress regarding this? Well, because as children, we weren't properly taught how to manage our money. It's imperative that we teach our children, our youth, nieces, nephews, how to manage money and teach them about the power of saving and investing. And in the next video, we're going to go over the seven reasons why all children should learn about personal finance. Like and subscribe to the channel if you want to make more money in 2023. Hoodie hustling. The most common question or comment that I get is, Hoodie, you know, if you did like everybody else and showed your face and wore a suit, your channel would grow faster. That's true. But why I wear a hood and a mask is because oftentimes we blindly trust people that show their face and wear suits with our finances, with our money, without doing our own due diligence. As I mentioned before, if you look at the FTX scandal that happened, the Bernie Madoff scandal, I can go on and on. People blindly trust people just because they have a suit on without doing their own research. So what I'm here to do is to help us build our financial savviness and education so that we always fact check people, no matter what they look like, and do our own research, use multiple sources of information, and just help to grow our financial education and independence so we can make smarter decisions. Like and subscribe. Three ways to invest in a bad economy. One, invest in mutual funds or an ETF. We have often talked about Vanguard stock blends, VTI, VOO, VUG, all great places to start. Two, invest in a high yield savings account. Because the economy is bad, you want to have cash available in case something happens to you financially. Keeping it in a high-yield saving account, make sure your cash is readily available, but you're also earning interest on it to fight against inflation. And three, invest in yourself emotionally. Stay up to date with market information and trends, but also keep your emotions in check because as long as you're diversifying, you'll be okay control your emotions. Like and subscribe if you'd like to learn more information like this. The 10 biggest mistakes people make financially. Number one, and the most important, not having a budget and sticking to it. Two, 
not saving enough for emergencies and retirement. Three, not diversifying your investments. Four, and a very critical one and often one that we forget about, not having proper insurance coverage. And five, taking on too much debt. Like and subscribe to the channel for the next five biggest mistakes people make financially. How the stock market works in six quick layers. Obviously, the bottom layer, the first layer, is the stock market, which has all the money or liquidity. On top of that is the hedge funds. They have a lot of money, a lot of bread, but unfortunately, they kind of mess it up for the rest of us. Balancing on top of that, you have pension funds, which are kind of forcibly invested in the market. On top of that balancing, you have venture capital. On top of that, we have private equity. And last and certainly least, unfortunately, are me and you, the retail investor. We get the smallest piece of the pie. That is a brief synopsis of how the stock market works in six quick steps. Like and subscribe to the channel if you want to make more money in 2023. Hoodie hustling. The other five top mistakes people make financially. Not understanding and managing credit properly. Not planning for taxes. Not reviewing and adjusting financial plans and budgets regularly. Making impulsive emotional purchases. And finally, not seeking professional advice when needed. Like and subscribe to the channel if you want to gain your financial freedom in 2023. Hoodie Hustling. We want to look to pay off all our debt first off. If we have a high interest credit card, look at paying that off in full each month. If not, increase what we pay on that debt each month until it's paid off in full. Any high interest loans, we want to look to pay that off as well. We want to have a savings account intact in case something happens as an emergency fund. And then we want to look into investing in dividend stocks, possibly crypto, possibly always do your research. Also too, look into possibly getting a rental property so you can generate a steady stream of income. In combination of all these methods listed, you can reach your financial goals in time. Like and subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more information like this. Hoodie Hustling, I'm out. Three ways to learn personal finance. One, everyone should read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. It's a great read and the foundation of all one's financial education. Two, be consistent and serious about improving your financial situation. And three, take time each day and find ways to improve upon it. If you think about we our eating habits or our bathing habits or brushing your teeth, there's not a day you would skip eating, brushing your teeth, or washing. So too with financial education, make it a regular part of your day each and every day. Like and subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more and grow financially. Hoodie Hustling, I'm out. How the stock market actually works in under 60 seconds, where public companies shell shares of their stocks to investors. When a company wants to raise money, they sell stock of the company on the stock market. Investors will buy shares of the stocks with the hope that the company will do well and the share value will increase and they can sell it back into the market for a profit. The stock market is divided into two main sectors, the primary market and the secondary market. The primary market is where new stock is issued to the public for the first time, either through an IPO, initial public offering, or through a direct listing. The secondary market is the most common where investors buy and sell shares of stocks that have already been issued. NASDAQ is and the NYSE, New York Stock Exchange, are common ones. How can we become better savers? Well, one way that I've found to do so is to put it on autopilot. What does that mean? Well, if we get direct deposit, we can set up to take a portion, maybe 5 to 10% of our paycheck, and put it in a separate bank account. Let it grow for a year, and after that year is up, use that accumulated money to pay off credit card debt, other debt we may have have accumulated over time, or use that money to invest 
or to add to a savings account that we have in case of an emergency. Multiple ways to continue to save better and be more financially responsible. Like and subscribe to the channel if you want to make more money in 2023. Hoodie Hustling. YouTube, what up though? Hoodie Hustling, back at it again. The ticker symbol for Coca-Cola is KO, and it has been a leader in the beverage industry for more than a century. And obviously the name alone is a global empire. Coca-Cola has adapted with the times and provided a broad array of products, including juice, sports drinks, watered, and it's tailored to health conscious people as well. Now, Coca-Cola particularly stands out for increasing its dividend. And what a dividend is, is a payout based on the number of shares you own. So we can see that Coca-Cola, obviously a well-known stock, a stable stock, hence why it is deemed a blue chip stock. So again, do your due diligence, research into it more, Google Finance, Motley Fool, and other websites, but that's one to look into. Coca-Cola, Hoodie Hustling, I'm out. Long-term versus short-term investing. Long-term investing is when you hold assets for over a year, at least a year and a day. Now, they're expected to gain value over time and you have to hold them for a longer time frame. Such assets will include stocks, real estate, and mutual funds. Now they have a lower risk of loss, but also a lower potential for short-term gains, hence the term long-term. Now short-term investing is when you hold an investment for less than one year. That's when you're looking to quickly make a profit, such as day trading, speculative investments. Now these short-term investments have a bigger risk of loss, but higher potential for gains. That's how we compare the two. Like and subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more information like this. Offer your services as a tutor, such as teaching, doing a mus musical instrument, or helping out with homework. Look through your closets, basement, attic, and sell items that you no longer use or need on eBay or Facebook Marketplace. Also, do odd jobs for friends or neighbors, raking, shoveling snow, mowing lawns, running errands, or even picking up trash. There's a lot of ways we can make money, starting off with no money. Three ways to invest in a bad economy. One, invest in consumer staples or healthcare. These tend to be more stable stocks during a bad economy. Two, invest in bonds. They also tend to yield higher dividends and be more stable during an economic downturn. And three, invest in real estate. And if you have real estate, see if you can generate a rental income from that property. Like and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to learn more information like this. Three top finance books everyone should read. And if you're not a big reader like me, get an audiobook and listen while you drive. One, The Big Short by Michael Lewis. Two, The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham. And three, Liar's Poker by Michael Lewis. How to know when to buy and sell stocks. Here are a few tips. We want to stay up to date on market trends. Keep an eye on the overall direction of the stock market, including specific sectors and industries. That will help us to get a sense of which stocks may be poised for growth or decline. Two, we want to keep track of a company's performance. Look at key indicators such as revenue, profits, debt levels. This will all help us to see if there's potential for success in the future. And thirdly, consider economic conditions. We want to look at GDP growth, unemployment rates, inflation. All these factors will have an impact on the performance of stocks and should be taken into consideration whether to buy or sell. YouTube, what up though? Pretty Hustling, back at it again. We're going over ETFs, exchange traded funds, and we're going to go to Investopedia for the definition. What it is. ETFs are a pooled investment security that operates like a mutual fund. 
They'll track a particular index, uh, security, sector, or other asset. Now, they can be purchased or sold on the stock exchange the same way regular stocks, such as a blue chip stock, can be purchased. So it has a basket of securities that trades. So it's a, a group of stocks, a group of stocks together as opposed to one individual stock. They contain all types of investments, stocks, commodities, bonds. Some are U.S. based, some are international. So when you think of ETFs, you think of a group of stocks under one conglomerate that you can buy as a single share that will give you broad diversification to many different sectors. Hoodie Hustling, I'm out. How short selling really works, made simple. Imagine a company has market shares worth $100. You ask that company to borrow those shares for $100 and you sell it into the market for $100. Now the price drops for some reason, let's say to $80. You then buy back those shares for $80 and then return it back to that original company and sell it to them for that $100 ask price. The difference, $20 is what you pocket. Obviously, there are other moving parts involved, but that's the basic concept. Like and subscribe to the channel if you want to take control of your finances in 2023. Hoodie Hustling. How short selling works in three quick tips. One, short selling is wagering that stocks will lose value. Two, short selling is a riskier type of investment because theoretically, there's no limit to the amount of money you can lose. So be careful. And three, short selling in the short term can net investors a quicker profit because stocks tend to lose value quicker than they appreciate. Like and subscribe to the channel if you want to make more money in 2023. Hoodie Hustling. The best side hustles if you have no money. Offer your services as a freelance writer, video editor, or if you have IT skills, whatever talents, skills, anything you're good at, turn it into a billable service. Also, you could maybe start a YouTube channel and try to monetize it. You never know. Like and subscribe to the channel if you want to take control of your finances in 2023. Hoodie Hustling. Many people often ask, and I see in the comments, Hoodie Hustling, why do you have a ski mask on? You look like a criminal. Well, my pushback is, who often commits the most heinous and insidious financial crimes? Is it somebody in a ski mask? Well, if we look at history, think about the Enron scandal, the Bernie Madoff scandal, even the FTX scandal, and how the stock market is structured with dark pooling and other unfair advantages that hurt us as retail trailers. Is it somebody in a ski mask who commits these crimes or creates these unfair rules? Or is it people who show their faces and have suits on? Just some food for thought. Like and subscribe to the channel if you want to make more money in 2023. Hoodie Hustling.